obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. In this project, a fan heater performance and the movement of the heated airflow inside a room is investigated. The air inside the room passes over a heater placed on one side of the room and a fan is responsible to push the heated air into the room. RNG K epsilon model is exploited to solve turbulent flow equations and the energy equation is activated to calculate the temperature distribution inside the computational domain. It should be noted that the ideal gas equation is opted to capture the change of the air density due to the temperature change and also the buoyancy effect. The geometry of this project is designed in ANSYS design modeler and meshed in ANSYS meshing software. The mesh type used for this geometry is unstructured. Some assumptions has been considered for the CFD simulation. The simulation is pressure based and also this is a steady state solver. It is obvious that energy equation should be activated in this CFD simulation because we are simulating the heater using fan for the HVAC of a room. So we mentioned before that the energy equation should be activated. Three different materials are defined for this cell zone. The first is the air as the fluid material. And the two others are solid, the wood and also the aluminium. All the walls in this computational domain are stationary wall with no slip. Here is the fan section. As we can see, the reverse fan direction is activated and in the x section we import minus one that means that the fan direction is along the x axis all the walls of the room but the bottom wall that was adiabatic wall all the other walls have the convection uh, thermal boundary condition the heat transfer coefficient is equal to five and also the outlet temperature is also equal to 5 degree of Celsius. The wall thickness is equal to 20 centimeter and also the material of these walls are assumed to be wood. There is no inlets or even outlet in this computational domain so the best initialization method would be the hybrid method. By clicking on the create button, we create a Y in the center of the room. As we mentioned before, in the boundary condition section, the uh, ambient temperature is equal to 5 degrees of centigrade. And suppose that we are going to find the volume average of the temperature in the room after applying the heater with fan. So follow this way. The applied settings are summarized in this table as a review. Obtain the mesh file and also the full training movie by purchasing this product. To benefit from Mr. CFD services including simulation, consultation and training, contact our expert via info at signmrcfd.com.